Hi, today I'm going to do a book review of a book by Luigi Pirandello. The book is called The Late Mattia Pascal. This is, here's the book, it's a New York Review book, and, um, and the story is a story I've heard before where the, the main character is presumed dead. That's the category of story this is. This is a very improbable thing to occur in real life where a person's dead but they're actually alive. You know, once, once you accept the premise of the story, then you're in this new world. And then you're in Luigi Pirandello's world and you're living and, and you're in her first person narration of Mattia Pascal. It starts with Mattia Pascal and he's, he's unhappy in his life, he's unhappy in his marriage. He's watching uh, the, his family fortune um, decline as the man who manages the money is mismanaging the money. And so he runs away. He can't think of anything else to do. He just runs away from the town. And when he's re he reads the local newspapers and they've declared him dead. So rather than return home, he just goes with it. He just says, I'm going to go with it. I'm just going to stay away. I can't stand my old self. I want to start anew. So he enters this casino and he starts gambling and he starts winning money and he starts winning and winning and winning. He doesn't have any process, any system. He's just winning and winning and winning. So then he leaves, he, he, he decides he has to invent a new name and so he makes up a new name, Adriano Mice, and he moves into a boarding home, a boarding house in Rome. Um, one of the people in the boarding house is, is kind of a criminal, and he's a paranoid person. He kind of wants to know everything he can about Adriano Mice, and so he's Adriano's forced to keep making up all these lies. He starts making all these lies, and he kind of gets caught up on these lies. Adriano claims he's from another Italian city. And so this criminal, this semi-criminal, meets someone from that same city that's made up, that's a made up person, and he um, brings him back to meet Adriano, and this person says he remembers Adriano from this Italian city where Adriano never even lived. Uh, so the lies, he, he has to start telling all these lies, and the lies kind of keep coming back at him and he can't keep up with the whole thing. He's not a very smart guy. You know, he's very likable as a narrator, but, but he's not very smart. You know, he, he, so um, he gets caught up in all these lies and things kind of start getting a lot of pressure on him. And so he decides that um, he doesn't like this personality that he's become and he wants to get out of it. So now he wants to fake his suicide. He wants to get out of the, commit suicide, fake his suicide, and run away. So, so he does that, and so this time, you know, he's, he, it's a false death, but this time he, he did it on purpose. He just, he, he just realizes that he's not very good at that line, so he'd rather go back to his original town, go and reclaim his original identity of Mattia Pascal, because that, then that solves his problem of making up lies. So he goes back to his hometown, and he kind of thinks he's going to get some revenge against his wife because she remarries. And then, um, you know, it, it all unfolds and it kind of has a satisfying ending. Uh, it does actually have a very good ending and, and, and it's, it's very good really up to the very last page. So it kind of makes you, overall, it makes you think about your identity and who you are. You know, Mattia was a caterpillar who died and became... A caterpillar so it's kind of a less there's kind of a moral there about um, running away from your life there's some things to think about about who our identity is and I enjoyed this book it works on multiple levels and it's very well written the narrator is very likable and human and he has very common problems dealing with the world that comes at him he's not like he's, he's definitely not a very controlling person he just Things happen to him and he's reactive. I certainly feel that way in most of my life, so I enjoyed this book. Thanks for watching.